some high school students forced out of their gym. The volleyball team can't play any home games and gym class is being held outside. It's because that torrential rain we had last week, well, it buckled the floor. Thousands to fix it. News 8's Tina Detail is live in New London with what they're going to do next. Tina? You know, we were just here at New London High School on Wednesday for the primary election, and that is when we first noticed that the gym floor, at least a section of it, was buckled. It was warped, and apparently it had been that way since last week. Remember this? Last week's torrential rain which flooded Bank Street and beyond. Well, it also caused New London High's gym floor to buckle the first time since it was built in the 60s. That's because it was built with the drain pipes running underneath it. One of the pipes was clogged that no one knew about and because of the amount of rainfall that we had, um, that caused the floor to the pipe to burst and the water came up from underneath. They fixed the pipe, but fixing the floor may be a bit more complicated. It could either cost next to nothing. The well, best case scenario is that we dry the flooring out and we're actually going to the steamroller, a small roller in here, and actually re-roll the floor and hopefully it stays flat. Um, worst case scenario is a complete redo of the floor. That could cost a couple hundred thousand dollars. When we were here on election day, we could see a small buckle in the floor over by where that garbage can is. But as you can see, it has now spread all the way over to here. A growing problem and a growing cost for the school system. The problem spread because the moisture built up while these dryers were put on hold so the air quality could be tested. Those tests came back fine and the asbestos in the adhesive on the subfloor may not be cause for concern after all. It's under the subfloor so even if we have to do a removal there's a possibility we will never touch that and everything will be fine. For now, gym classes are held outside, girls volleyball is played at other schools and the principal says basketball doesn't start for a month. Hopefully we will not be destroying any of their hoop dreams and this place will be ready. We are back now live. Now, as you can see, the gym remains closed. We'll be checking back with the school next week to see if any progress is made in flattening out the floor. Now, another thing they have to think about here at the school is that in four or five years, a brand new school and gym will be built. So they want to make sure this fix is as cost effective as possible. We're live in New London. Tina Detell, News 8.